Hi there, my name is Eunice Olsen and I'm right here at the Asian Golf Institute. Um, I'm totally decked out in a full Callaway Golf outfit complete with shoes and a really spanky new Callaway Golf set uh, because I thought it's about time that I learned the game. My dad's been playing for quite a while now and I know that his biggest dream really is for me to be able to play with him. So um, I'm really, really fully equipped with the right equipment, the right wear and of course I've got a great golf coach that's going to be showing me how to do it. My main aim and goal is to be able to get my PC in 10 lessons and that's going to be the challenge for me and hopefully after that I'll be joining my dad on the golf course. So, wish me luck! Hi, I'm Greg Anditella from the Asian Golf Institute. I'm here today to set up a challenge to teach Eunice Olsen to play golf in 10 lessons. Uh, one of Eunice's main options is to be able to play golf with her father. To do that, we need to get her to PC. My job today is going to learn some of the golf swing, moving through the course, we're going to be able to do some short games, some pitching, go on the Kettle Golf Club and hopefully learn all the things we need to do to finally pass her test. With her main goal to get her to play with her dad and with her uh, family as well, the Asian Golf Institute teaches people from all walks of life, all ages, to teach the game of golf through their brothers, sisters, mums and dads, and with the whole family involved. Uh, I've been teaching golf in Singapore for now for 15 years, and I've been very, very fortunate to teach some of the national champions of Singapore, um, particularly the lady champions and Melissa Lowe. So hopefully, Eunice, you'll be able to live up my expectations. We're going to go out on the driving range very, very soon and see what cards I've been dealt. Eunice. Hey, Greg. How are you? Nice to meet you. Now, you are here to learn golf. Tell yes, me some of, right. your, some of your goals. Well, um, basically, I want to be able to play golf with my dad. So okay. I think the most important thing is for me to be able to get off the golf course, I have to have my PC. Okay. So I think that is my ultimate goal. I hear this a lot from our students because everyone's so busy in Singapore. Um, what I find with my ladies as well, and this is not a, a sexist thing, but generally guys will learn faster because they're stronger and they whack the ball. And that does not mean that they're better. Well, we'll see about that. Because <laughs> most women, because of their build, they can actually technically swing the club better. But unless you actually practice that little bit, to get that confidence because when you go to the golf course it's a little bit harder. Getting the ball off the ground, you know, when it's sitting down in the grass is not as easy. So our job is to get all the fundamentals correct, but then you're gonna to have to commit to your practice. And I promise you if you commit to your practice and you do the training drills, we will get you on your way and you can have lots of fun with your dad. Okay, awesome. okay? thank That's you. A deal. It's a deal. Look forward thank to it. You. Okay, Eunice, what we're gonna do now, we're gonna come out into the driving range and we're gonna start on your fundamentals. We would normally do a little mirror work, part of our warming up exercises. One of the main focuses of today is obviously to learn the game of golf. We need to do some warm up and some stretching first. And we're also going to talk a little bit about the safety of issues of going to the driving range in the golf course. The golf clubs are big shiny Callaways, okay, nice and long, but they can be a little bit dangerous if we're not swung properly, um, correctly, so with your injury, but also with other people in the driving range as well. So we'll normally start in our training area. We have all the training aids that we need to get us warmed up. So for that, we're going to do a picture on the mat and we're going to start with a little bit of exercise first. Okay. So Eunice, what we'd like to do here, we're just going to get you into a, a little bit of a golf stance here. We're going to begin to do some very slow, very soft, slow stretching. So the first thing we'll do is get your feet about shoulder width apart. And you'll probably maybe find that you're comfortable with your toes point out about 10 degrees each. Okay. What I'd like you to do from there is if you can, just feel like you're just sticking your bottom out a little bit. Not to be too shy here. And then just a very small knee flex. Okay. Now what I'd like you to try and do you need to stay like that. Okay. <laughs> what I'd like you to try and do from there is just very slowly try and give your shoulders, you stay there, I want you to just very slowly just twist your shoulders this way whilst trying to keep your knees quite still. Okay. Right. Can you try that again for me? Right. So starting position. So just bottom out and a very small knee flex. I want you to try and imagine you've got like a basketball or a beach ball between your knees. Okay. So your shoulders will turn your hips, but try and keep your knees relatively quiet. Okay. Let me see you do one by yourself. Perfect. So what we've done now with Eunice, we've done a little bit of just sort of a, a very basic rotation uh, exercise, which for me is actually the foundation of the swing. swing. Probably, I like to think maybe 70, 80% of the swing will come from my ability just to go turn and turn when my shoulders and hips turn around my spine. If I can get you to do that, 
and I can get you into a good posture, and I can give you a good golf grip, then we can play golf. And my grip will be my direction, my posture, the way I stand, that will be the one that helps us hit the ball, and my rotation. Once I connect my arms, that's going to get the power to make the ball go for sure. It's that easy. <laughs> okay. Can we have a go? Yes, that's right. All right, let's do it. So we'll get the club and we'll place it down our spine. Okay. That's good. Okay. And so it's touching our head and touching the base of our spine, and then we'll just lean forward from here. I want you to feel like you're leaning forward until you're almost 45 degrees, almost like your chest is covering the ground. It won't be that low, but that's what I like you to feel. Okay. I think that's fantastic. How does that feel? Uh, yeah, it feels like, uh, oh, I'm just trying to kind of arch my back, not arch, but uh, make it Maintain like, it. Yeah, yeah, against the club, so. Very like, good. Yeah, if you stay in that position there, and then what I'd like you to do from there, if you could, is just bring the club down and just let it hang in your arms like so. And actually just give your arms a little bit of a shape. So what you probably feel, this should feel a little bit stiff here. You might feel some pressure in the lower spine, yeah. and certainly maybe some stretching in your hamstrings. There certainly may be a stiffness. I'm not necessarily trying to make you stiff, but I want it to feel strong. I really want your legs to be the foundation of your golf swing. Your arms, upper body, super soft.